I bought the cheapest 10 gigabit and multi gigabit card that I could find online for 75 bucks. It's this Rosewell. Now I had a very interesting experience with this card. Before I get started, I want to let you know that I'm going to be giving this away on a live stream. This is brand new and unopened. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into some of the details about my experience with this card and Rosewell's support or lack of in this video. Now before we go ahead and get started, I would really appreciate your support if you go ahead and smash that like button and also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already as it really truly does help out this small channel with the algorithm. Let's get started. So I went ahead and installed the new 10 gig Rosewell network adapter and the performance of it was actually horrible. So I went ahead and called up support and they said they believe it is a faulty card and they shipped me out a new card. However, they sent me a four port one gig card on accident instead, which I went ahead and shipped that back. And then they went ahead and sent me the new card. So now I'm going to go ahead and replace it and see if it actually performs as fast as it should. And just so you know, that was actually the empty box of the original and here's this one. Alright, so I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Let's go ahead and get it connected to the switch. Alright, now the cable that I have claims to be a Category 8 cable. I'm pretty sure it's uh, counterfeit, but uh, we'll just go ahead and see how it works. Get that connected in here. Go 
it up. Now, what was kind of interesting is that uh, because the chipset that is used on this card is actually used by other manufacturers, and Rosewill's links on their website uh, are actually for a different card. So if you lose the CD to this, you're pretty much screwed, unless if you go ahead and use the links that I'll go ahead and drop down below. Uh, that are actually using a different manufacturer's release of a similar uh, card using the same chipset. Now the drivers that I used are from a company called LRLink, which I never heard of before. Um, I was thinking TP-Link, but nope, it's LRLink. And interestingly enough, I haven't really been able to find many places that you can order any of the cards from except for Alibaba, but you can't actually order this particular 10 gig uh, chipset based card from Alibaba, at least not yet. So. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the links down below so you can check it out. And uh, these are the drivers that I ended up using long term to be able to get much closer to 10 gigabit performance. And it seems like no matter what I did, including adding additional cooling to the card, it made absolutely no difference to the performance of this card. Now in my tests, I did go ahead and use a RAM drive on both sides, so that way it's not a storage subsystem that would be slowing it down. When I was using the official Rosewill drivers directly off of the CD, I was only getting around five to six gigabit throughput speeds. And I did try different cables, uh, also even a different switch, and the results were the same. So Rosewill, if you're watching, please go ahead and update your download page to actually have the drivers for this card. And it would be nice if you actually updated the drivers to something newer than your initial release off of the CD, which I think was like 2016 and the newest drivers that I could find were from 2018. If you find any newer drivers for this card, please go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below. I'd love to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and uh, slapping a like would be wonderful and also subscribe as well. I'll catch you in the next one.